now in this uh, uh, small video uh, i tried to prepare a, a topic on miller sweep circuit uh, in the last class uh, uh, we have discussed about bootstrap sweep circuit uh, through using zoom now i have tried this uh, uh, ppt video in this we are going to discuss about a miller sweep circuit so as you can see on the screen uh, first we should have some introduction about this uh, miller sweep circuit what is a miller sweep circuit and how it is different from a bootstrap sweep circuit so as far as this miller sweep circuit is been concerned uh, it is just similar to your bootstrap uh, sweep circuit uh, the same principle is involved in this uh, uh, miller sweep circuit also uh, what is that principle is a constant current is need to be generated and this current is been passed through a capacitor for uh, getting a ramp voltage so here also the same thing is done uh, we will be generating one constant current and that current is been passed through a capacitor for generating a ramp voltage the difference what we have between a miller sweep circuit and uh, a bootstrap sweep circuit is uh, in a bootstrap sweep circuit a positive ramp is been generated but in a miller sweep circuit a negative ramp is been generated so you can see in the next slide uh, i'll show you the circuit diagram of this so you can observe the circuit diagram now so in this uh, circuit diagram you can see the transistor q1 is an on off switch and the transistor q2 is a high gain amplifier the input is a pulse a pulse or a rectangular wave and uh, now coming to this uh, operation of this now we'll start uh, uh, your operation you can observe the waveforms also in the next slide in this okay i'll show you uh, i will explain you this uh, uh, circuit diagram first then we'll go to the waveform so first the input vi is when the input is been positive then q1 becomes on and it goes into saturation so the potential of point a becomes zero because vc sat is equal to zero therefore va is equal to vc sat which is equal to zero then the transistor q2 remains off since it is not going to get any required necessary base drive now the potential of point a will remain at vcc so therefore the voltage across the capacitor cs is vcc that is vs is equal to vcc when the input signal vi goes negative then q1 cannot conduct when this q1 is off the potential of point a will rise to vcc but because of the presence of the capacitor cs the voltage across the the voltage across point a is not going to increase instantaneously because of the presence of the capacitor cs it is going to increase very uh, gradually okay so now when the voltage across the point a that is va is increasing gradually the voltage across the capacitor starts falling gradually with q1 off and the potential of point a is increasing q2 becomes on the potential of point b now starts decreasing to zero but because of the presence of the capacitor cs the voltage across uh, the point b that is vb will not come down uh, very instantaneously but it is going to come down very gradually so as va is increasing gradually simultaneously vb is decreasing gradually therefore the voltage across the capacitor starts decreasing very slowly so the result is that the cs is going to discharge the capacitor cs is going to discharge linearly thus we can observe that the voltage vs across the capacitor cs is a decreasing that is a negative going ramp i'll show you in the waveform you can see in the waveform now initially the voltage across the capacitor was vcc which is available on that now after that the voltage has started decreasing that's why in a miller sweep circuit the output voltage is a negative going ramp this is the difference what we have between uh, a miller sorry miller and a bootstrap sweep circuit all these points have been uh, discussed in the uh, in the slides available there you can observe uh, what i have told you that is been uh, written there in the remaining slides 
so you can observe that what is been uh, available just i have made them into points and given all those in that so the main thing is the waveforms and the circuit diagram this circuit diagram is a miller sweep circuit diagram it is just similar to your bootstrap the difference what we have between bootstrap and miller is the ramp voltage which is been generated in a bootstrap a positive ramp is been generated but in a miller a negative ramp is been generated so thank you very much for listening to me that's it in this uh, small video